I, I'm, I'm staying away from what's going on in Washington on purpose because there's a lot of other issues there and I focus mostly on the stocks. But economists are watching it too as it relates to productivity, as it relates to the labor market, which we know has been tight and one of the reasons why we still have this sticky services inflation. And, and I do wonder how long you think it's going to take before it filters into the broader economy. So, yeah, I'm trying to say nice things about economists, but I think the stock market leads the economy, right? So the, the economists will figure it out after the stock market moves a lot. If I think about what happened this past year, I mean, you read read the bulge bracket firms, the biggest four firms' outlooks for 2023 last November. None of them mentioned AI, something that would matter. We talked about it on this program, in, like in March, right? Was still, you know, so. I think now they've kind of gone the other way. They weren't talking about it all. Now they're all saying it's everything. And I think the truth's in between. There's kernels of truth that are now being greatly exaggerated about how it's going to impact margins and productivity. And, you know, you, you start reading economists saying 50 percent of all employees are going to be replaced. But I, I think that's uh, a little hyperbole at this point. So what do you do with stocks at this moment? There's been a lot of soft landing narrative yeah, priced we're gold, in. We're Goldilocks. That's what we're in. And I think that's what the market's telling you now. Where there's a transitional period of Goldilocks where, you know, because you, know, you talk about all the time on this network and less on this program, but on this network of good is bad, bad is good, all that kind of stuff. And I think people don't want it to be too strong economically. It'll be bad for the market. If it's really bad, they'll be, you know, we're in this Goldilocks zone. And if, if it's going to get worse, there are going to be a, a few months of Goldilocks still before we get there. So I think that's the narrative for how the market could end up higher this year, and that's the consensus view. The higher consen from here. The consensus view for sure is maybe soft, you know, in the next few weeks and then higher at year end. Uh, you know, obviously I, what I do all day is talk to institutional investors, so I can tell you that's what the institutional investor view of the world is, is maybe short-term negative and, and we end the year higher. Doesn't always happen the way people think, but <laughs> that's definitely the consensus view. Um, I look at the market, I see like three or four things I'm really excited about. Uh, you know, both long and short or overweight and underweight, right? Um, it, you know, the, the thing that I'm probably, so three areas. One, you mentioned energy. I, I think you're seeing that that's the best performing sector the last three months. Nobody's talking about it when I do meetings. Um, I think demand supply dynamics look very, very bullish in any longer term view. So uh, I like that sector a lot. Uh, it, it won't act great if people really worry about a recession. That's obvious on the demand side, but you can't replace um, the, the math of um, low capex with, you know, decent demand. I think the other two things I'm very excited about are um, being very negative on retailers. Uh, we spent a lot of bandwidth and time on our research side over the last few months looking at shrink or, or stealing, uh, the financing arms of those businesses, and so many bad things happen um, to their cost structure. So I don't see how these dollar stores and Target and those kind of things are going to act well um, and how they can kind of have mean reverting profits like people are embedding. So I think there's a lot of exciting things to avoid on that traditional box side. You guys live in the New York area. Uh, you know you don't want to walk into one of those stores where there's, you know, uh, product behind the glass and some guy has to open it for you and the inventory is mismanaged and all that kind of stuff. So that, there's no will to change that anytime soon. So there's a lot of interesting things happening under the surface. You got me excited about finding long and short ideas. Um, and um, I think that's where we're spending most of our time.